Okay, and welcome everybody to lessons one and two of Python for Java programmers. So this is basically something I'm putting together for my students. And I'm going to put some Java code on the left. I'm going to put some Python code on the right. And I'm going to show you basically how to make that transition from one language to the other, at least with the basic structures. So let's get started. Um, first, I'm using repl.it, Repl.it. And this is the link. I'll put this in the video link down below and so you can find that. And I'm also using the same thing for Python 3, and we'll be taking a look at that. So watch what I do here. I'm going to go over, so this is help you get set up. I'm going to go over to settings, and where it says layout side by side, I'm going to change that to stacked. And then I'm just going to hide the settings again. Now there's a dark mode if you prefer that. And I'm going to go over here, I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to, I don't want the dark mode, I want stacked. Okay, and then I'm just going to pull that out, and then I'm going to. Uh, basically put that on the right, I'm going to put that on the left, and then I'll kind of go down through the code. So notice I have the Java written already, and this is from one of my previous tutorials, and I do not have the Python written yet. So I'm going to write this as we go along. So I'm going to go ahead and run this and see what we get. And again, this is a, an online thing, so it does take a, a minute sometimes or a little bit of time. So it's basically just some very, very simple output. And so in this lesson, I'm going to talk about comments and printing. Okay, so let's, let's take a look at it. Now, comments in Java, single line comments start with slash slash, but in Python, they start with a hashtag. So Christian Thompson, Thompson.com. And my Twitter handle is at Tokyo EdTech. And this is lesson one and oops one and two comments and printing. Okay, so now here in Java we've got a multi-line comment. Technically speaking, Python doesn't really have multi-line comments. It does have something called doc strings where you could put, you know, this is a that should have been wrong text there, wrong keyboard. Uh, I could put this is a multi-line comment, but really it isn't. It's a doc string, and it's probably not the best way to do that. If you read the documents on the, the Python documents, the preferred way of doing it is to use hashtags. So there really isn't, in a in the traditional sense, a multi-line comment. So I'm just going to put that there. And here we go. Now this is where we start to see some of the differences between Python and Java. Java is what we call object oriented. Everything is a class, everything is an object. Python is not necessarily that way. You can make everything basically into an object, but it isn't necessarily the way that Python functions. Again, I know I'm making some grand statements, but within limits, that's basically how it works. So. So this stuff here, class main, public static, void main string, args, we don't need. We can just skip right to printing. So if I wanted to print that, I'm just going to copy that. Python, it's much, much easier. Type print. And that is it. Okay, so we don't need a semicolon at the end, although you can actually have one. A few people know that, but you can put a semicolon, but you don't need it. And you just put print instead of system.out.println. And this is a key thing, ln versus regular print, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. And there we go, lesson ones, comments, and printing. So now this is interesting. Basically, at this point, most things work about the same. I really don't like that pop-up all the time, but I guess I'll leave it. So let's go ahead and just kind of copy some of this stuff over and take a look. Hello world and... I'm going to copy hello plus space plus hello world. And let's see, print. Okay, and let's go ahead and run it and see if we get the same output that we got from our friends here. Oops, and I missed one. Sorry, I missed this, this here. So, so far you can see how it's, it's more or less a one for one type of thing. Let me go into the settings here and see if I can get rid of code intelligence. 
because that's really bothering me. I'm going to disable that. Because that is just not looking good with the, the way I have this laid out. So let's go ahead and save. And I actually don't have to save, it's just a habit. And so comments and printing, hello world, hello world, hello world. So far so good. So I'm gonna go down a little bit, print, and I wanna print a blank line. I don't have to use that, I'll show you later. So now if I want to print a number, or print a number in quotation marks, you notice I, my habits is now, uh, I'm kind of mixing my, my styles. Go ahead and run that. So whether I print the number with quotation marks or without, it's going to be the same. Let me add some space there so I can do some scrolling. And so the next thing is, and there's there's reasons I'm doing this, which you'll see in the next uh, in the next lesson. And print so 2.0, print quote 2.0, and let's go ahead and just kind of take a look at this. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and just actually let me I just copy this and just. See what happens there. Yeah, I got some tabs. And again, so this, I can make this into print. It's a lot of fun to watch me type, but. And, but what's interesting, I think, is that you see how, you know, once you've, you've learned system.out.println, uh, you know that it's basically the same thing here. So let's go ahead and run this and see if we get the same result. Okay, so we got f we got four, we got two plus two, and we got 22. Now again, this is not an introduction to programming, this is an introduction to how Python does things versus how Java does things. I'm assuming that you already understand everything that you see over here. So let me go ahead and copy that out and put that over here. And we're gonna get rid of that. And maybe for this one I could have just uh, done it ahead of time, but anyway, later ones will be a little bit more interesting, I think. So I'm gonna hit run that, see if I get my 4.0, 2.0, and 2.0. So far, so good. Um, and now this is uh, probably the last part, and this is where you'll see a little bit of a difference between how Java does things and how Python does things. And note, this is Python 3, so some of this will not work in Python 2, actually. So you can see here I'm using the escape, one of the escape characters, slash, slash n, and I'm using here slash t, and I'm using here print. Uh, and we're gonna see, again, we're gonna see some differences here in a second. One major difference. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that. Okay, so you can see, my name is Christian. I think that's just a weird artifact of, uh, no, that is not a weird artifact. So you can see over here, we've got print versus println, okay? Println automatically adds a carriage return, so it goes to the next line, whereas print does not. So notice with print, there is no print versus println in Python. But in Python, what you would do is you would type comma, end equals, and two single quotes. What that tells Python is that instead of ending with a carriage return and going to the next line, we're gonna end with nothing. And we're just gonna keep printing from there. Let's go ahead and run that. And now you can see, my name is Christian. My name is Christian. And I want to do the same thing here, comma, end equals quote, quote. Go ahead and run it. And same thing comma, end equals quote, quote. And you can see how we have essentially the same layout. Now something weird kind of happened here, and I'll talk about that in a second, but I wanted to show you this also, in case you didn't know. If you want to print quotation marks inside of quotation marks, you need to use the escape character here and the escape character here. And I think this just cut off because of the width of the window. Yeah, so that's just cutting off. So for some reason, even though you have all this space here, it's cutting off at that point. So it's, yeah, I'm not sure about why that's doing that. But anyway, it's just a little quirk of the web. So anyway, so you can see so far, there's not a huge difference between 
the way Java works and the way Python works, except in this whole class main, public static void main thing. So in Java, you can't just have code out by itself. It must be inside some sort of class structure. It must be inside some sort of method in this particular case. But Python's a little bit more forgiving, uh, and you can just kind of start printing and, and doing stuff right away in Python, which is quite nice. So that is that for this first lesson. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, stay tuned for lesson number three. Take care.